Hello and welcome. This is the abbreviated West Virginia University football podcast at earsports.com. I am Mike Casazza. This is a Paramount production, and I'm going to call an audible here at the top if that's okay with you. The football team is on an open week. Basketball season started on Monday with the first practice. That is 42 days from the beginning of the regular season. You can practice 30 times before you tip. The Mountaineers will do that before they open up at home on November 4 against Robert Morris. So, hey, let's talk hoops today. A bit of a change. Basketball instead of football. We're doing this on a Thursday instead of a Tuesday. And listen, that's that's more of a me thing than a Mountaineers thing or a you thing. So let me explain something to you really quickly here. Um, Let's in a little secret. I'm going to violate HIPAA if that's okay with you. I am uh, a lot like the teams I cover. You know, sometimes I need a break, rest, repairs, recovery. And uh, yeah, Monday I had a, a small procedure done, which some of you know about. And many of you have been so kind to reach out, send your best wishes through text message, direct message, post on the board just saying, hey, hang in there. Stay tough. Let me know if there's something I can do. Mike, what can I give you to help you get back on your feet? You know what I say to them? I think you know what I say to them. I just say thanks. I'll be fine. We'll be back to normal before you know it. Why wait? Let's get into it. We're going to talk about three topics related to the Mountaineers. One starts with the W. One starts with the V. One starts with the U. The W today stands for welcome. That is what we say to the latest additions to the basketball roster. That would be Forrest, forward Harris Elizovich, center Abraham Oh, you dare. They were added to the roster after the Mountaineers went to Italy and went 3-0 in exhibition games overseas. That officially finishes the roster rebuild. Those are scholarship players 12 and 13, overall players 14 and 15, 14 newcomers on a 15-player roster. What will these newcomers bring? Elizovich and Oh, you dare. Right now, not much. Let me cite the head coach here. Quote, we're hoping they can find a way to give us some minutes. For now, you can figure it'll help the team fill out the blue and the white teams in practice before long. Maybe they can find a way to earn some playing time. Oya Dare is a bit more of a project, which is fine. He has more time on his side. He'll be a true freshman. You could probably watch and learn a thing or two from Eduardo and Andre. Elizovich, final college season. He's played a little bit. He's tussled with some major college competition. More likely to learn faster and play sooner. The talk is all, clock is also ticking for him. We'll see how much of a post presence he provides as a defender and a rebounder. Mountaineers, as you probably suspect, are fine on offense. They will welcome additions on defense and under the glass. And the V stands for vagaries. I think vagaries are going to be a weapon for this offense. The Mountaineers don't have true or consistent size. They can't run out the prototypical specs for a one through five lineup. And sometimes the parameters of their players at the one through the five will not match your traditional constructs. So you can't run from that. Your roster is who you are. You have to be what you can put on the floor. In college basketball, you don't have to run from it. You can lean into that. You can be funky and effective. We know this team wants to play positionless lineups and positionless offense. And what does that look like? Well, consider... It's the idea of having multiple ball handlers out there. That might mean three guards at a time. Heck, three point guards at a time. But that also might mean no point guard and a couple of twos and a three or a two or three or a four. Just some combination of not point guards who are able and trusted to handle the ball. There might be multiple shooters on the floor at one time. But your five, who's not a shooter traditionally, he might be able to step out and shoot threes. He can step out just to drag a shot blocker from the hoop and open something underneath for a cutter. He might also be able to step out and draw a shot blocker from the hoop and then play pick and roll with the ball handler. So the construction of your lineups that you'll see in the allocation of minutes, that's going to depend on probably two main abilities, spreading the floor to move the ball and avoiding turnovers. Finally, the U is for unusual, which might seem unfair or unjust because I'm going to be honest with you, I feel unusual still. Covering a team that Bob Huggins doesn't coach, that's unusual. Walking into a practice facility that Bob Huggins helped build feels unusual. And if you've been there, you know it's a mini museum to Mountaineer basketball. And Bob Huggins was responsible for gathering and collecting a lot of those artifacts that are on display. It's also 16 years of a coach is the identity of a program 
and avoid at least that big. And maybe it was time for a change for one reason or another, and probably one reason more than another. Probably more than one reason more than another. But you get the picture. It's still striking that after all this time, it feels so unusual because here I am talking about what it's like to be around this program that Huggins has helped so much for his so long, and you forget that he was gone all of last year too. A change is probably overdue. It's been a long time, and it's no longer fair for these teams that are under the roof of the Coliseum and the practice facility. The fans who will file in to watch them play. The people who are charged with carrying on the tradition that it's been so unsettled for so long.